Hey everyone, Jace for With The Simpsons House by Lego, set number 71006, contains 2,523 pieces, recommended building ages are 12 and up. So here is The Simpsons House. Looks like it's complete with the garage and the station wagon. We do have Bart, Homer, Marge, Maggie, Lisa, and Ned Flanders. So it appears we get to make all the various builds, such as the half pipe or quarter pipe. Barbecue pit, and of course the Simpsons house. Let's take a look at the back. Now I must say that this is one colorful box. I like the artwork. You can see we have all the various actions. Looks like we have a few bedrooms. It's hard to tell on the box. Looks like that's Lisa's room. I think this is the way to get up to the second floor. And of course, various other rooms and such like the kitchen and the living room there's just so much to talk about so without waiting any longer let's crack open the box this is one large set there's extra tape on the corners Also note, this is one heavy set as well. We have bag number three with various elements. So, it appears the bags are numbered. Another bag three. Bag six with plates. Bag four with various elements. Bag five. Seven with smaller elements. Bag one with smaller plates. Bag number two with wall elements. Another bag two with more elements. I'm running out of counter space. <laughs> Bag one. Another bag four. And bag two. Bag five. And I'm still digging in the box. Bag five with lots of tiles. Another bag. There's just so many bags. Found a bag seven. Four. 
four. And a bag full of base plates. And bag three. Several instruction booklets bound by cardboard. It also appears we have stickers. Nothing else in the box. Okay, so we have one instruction manual. Let's count how many bags there are. So there's one. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19 and 20. So it appears that there is 20 bags with this set. I may have miscounted, but looks like there is more than 2,500 pieces. So now the next thing is to start building. Now that everything has been assembled, I will be reviewing the minifigures, outdoor accessories, indoor accessories, station wagon, furnishings, and of course, the Simpsons house. First, let's have a look at the minifigures. There are six in total. Let's have a closer look. Here we have Homer Simpson. His tie and name badge is printed on. Nice detail for the face. Light blue jeans. The sleeves appear to be printed on as well. Nice print work for the head. Next we have Marge Simpson. Nice hair. That appears that this is separate from the head. Nice print work. Like her apron. The print work does continue to the back. Moving on to Bart Simpson. His face is printed on. The shorts appear they are two different colors. So they might not be painted. The sleeves are painted on. He even has the spiked hair.
Next we have Lisa Simpson, her necklace is printed on, she has eyelashes, and those are printed on as well. She's wearing a red skirt. The print work does continue to the back. Nice shape for the head. Here is Maggie Simpson. She has a bow in her hair and her pacifier. She even has eyelashes and those are printed on. Her body is one piece. Finally, there is Ned Flanders. Nice face. It appears his glasses are molded in. They don't appear to be painted. Even the hairpiece appears to be molded as well. I like the print work. It says, Hell to the Chef. <laughs> his apron does continue down to his pants. Print work does flow to the back. Here we have the outdoor accessories. Let's take a closer look at the wheelbarrow. It is lime green. We also have two plants. They are stud flowers inside of a dark red pot. Now, we have a red toolbox. That is one element. Here we have the nuclear rod that Homer throws out as he's driving. It is a transparent green light sword. Here we have Bart's skateboard. It is lime green with purple wheels. It is supposed to have a sticker, but I choose not to put it on. In addition, we get several tools. A flathead screwdriver, hammer, crescent wrench, open-end wrench, closed wrench, a ratchet, cross iron, an electric drill, and an oiling can. Also, we have a push broom, a shovel, and 
Homer's briefcase. Now let's explore the indoor accessories. There are three plates, two wine glasses, four mugs, a baking pan, a mixing bowl, one large frying pan, three cupcake holders, one spatula, three forks, three knives, and one mixer. There are two sets of cherries, two hot dogs, and a hairbrush. We have a magnifying glass and it does magnify. So that's a cool element. We have a large pot, small frying pan, a backpack, this is a soft plastic, a small basket, this is soft plastic as well, and finally Lisa's homework. It appears she got an A+. Great job Lisa. And that is printed on. Here is the Simpson station wagon. As you can tell it's pink. These are side mirrors. Nice grill. It gives the station wagon a vintage look. It appears Homer has been in a few fender benders. Explains why the fender is all crushed in. Here is the rear, large brake lights, the trunk does open up, there is plenty of room, let's set Homer's briefcase inside the trunk. You have to set it at sort of an angle for the trunk door to close all the way. I like the large side doors for the passenger and driver entry. There's the steering wheel and the gear shift. Let's have Homer take a seat. The vehicle does seat two minifigures side by side. It is a bit difficult to get the minifigures inside the station wagon. I've only done it a few times. Okay. There's Homer looking out of the windshield. Now, I would like to put Marge in the station wagon, however her legs only bend so much because of her skirt. So I can't really put her in the vehicle, but I can put Maggie, Lisa, or Bart inside. But since their legs do not bend as well, 
all they can do is stand. And there's not enough room to fit Lisa. So it looks like sh she has to walk with Marge. Overall, it is a great looking station wagon. Too bad the back seat does not have enough room to seat two minifigures side by side. But the overall design is excellent. The station wagon does glide perfect on a flat, smooth surface. Here is the removable furnishings that do come with the Simpsons house. There is a small mailbox, quarter pipe, two chase lounges, a dinette set, barbecue grill, camera, and vacuum cleaner. Let's have a closer look. Here's the mailbox. It does have a letter that is printed on. It does have a slope top. I like the flag on the side. It can go down or up. Very creative design. The quarter pipe. This is what Bart uses to do his tricks with the skateboard. Very simple construction with arches and bows. Very basic design. It does sort of work. Too bad this wasn't leveled off. Other than that, it works very well. Now let's have a closer look at the chase lounges. They are both similar. Let's take a look at this one. It does have a 2x3 flat tile with a hinge for the bottom and a ladder for the back. Very simple construction. It has a 2x2 two two dish for the leg to keep the chair level. Let's have a quick view of the dinette set. Here's the dinette table. It uses a 6x6 six six plate which rests on a few bricks for legs. Very simple construction. Here's the 
dinette chairs. Very creative design. They use the angle plate, bricks with bow, and two one by two rails. The seats are not studded, so it is a bit difficult for the minifigures to stay seated. They may slide off easily. But they do work. Although their legs do not slide underneath the table. But the table is the right height for many figures. Now let's have a look at the barbecue grill. The lid does open up. It appears we have a fire. There is spots on the sides to put tools. I got a pair of tongs. Drop it in like so. Very solid construction. Let's throw a few hot dogs on the grill. The lid pretty much can close down. Really clever design. It is even the right height for many figures. Now Ned can easily roast hot dogs for the Simpsons family. Finally Let's take a look at the vacuum cleaner and camera. Let's have a closer look at the vacuum cleaner. It is an upright. Cool idea for the bag in the back. Handle does adjust. Very cool idea. Now let's take a look at the camera. It is on a stand. It's got a lens cap as well. This does go in Lisa's room. She must be in photography. Nice accessories. Now let's explore the Simpsons house. Finally, here is the Simpsons house. It does feature three bedrooms and one bathroom. I like the arch around the front door, the bay windows, and the windows underneath the eaves are standard one by two by three windows flipped on their sides. Really clever idea. 
the porch with the mat, the greenery on both sides, add some color to the front of the house. Here on the right we have the garage. The door does open up. Also, if you notice, we have a television antenna on the top and a chimney. Although this house does not have a fireplace. Let's take a look at the side. We have some profile brick and the orange brown brick as well. Here's the rear. We have a back porch with the back door, some windows. Here's the side with the garage. We have a brick built plan as well. Now let's access the interior. It's real easy. It does open up. It swings out forward to reveal the rooms. Let's have a look. These two are the living room. This is the kitchen. These two are Lisa's room. Homer and Marge. Here's Maggie's crib. And in the back is Bart's room. I will go more in detail. Now the garage does separate from the house. It does unsnap. But you have to be careful because some of the wall does come apart. So just work it out very slow but it does end up separating. So here's the other side of the garage. The roof on both pieces does come off to reveal the inside and I'll show you that as well. The roof on the main house does come off as well. They just lift right off. It's a great idea for extra access. And here in the far left is Bart's room. As you notice with the roof removed, it is bright inside. Let's take a closer look at each room. First, let's take a quick peek at the garage. Nice contrast with the tan sides, brown trim, and the orange brown door. Nice use of the 2x3 window on its side. The door does open up. There's the inside. I'll give you a close-up of that in a little bit.
Here's the side. This is supposed to attach to the main house. Here's the brick built bush. Both pieces do come off easily. Simple plates. Let's try parking the station wagon in the garage. Just back it right up in there. Too bad the floor was not tiled. The station wagon does run kind of rough on the studs. As you can see, plenty of room. Let's take a closer look at the interior. The first thing we see is a tool bench and a tool rack. Let's take a closer look. You can see on the left we have a small workbench with a vise and a red tool chest, a broom in the middle, and on the right we have tools hanging on a rack, nice use of the prison door, the cabinet can be used to store tools, I like the containers on top with nozzles to represent bottles, Really clever idea. Here's the inside of the door. It swings on two pivots. The other side of the garage with a place to hang a shovel. You can also hang the broom there as well. Here's the rear. It also has the 2x3 window. Nice garage. The only thing that can be improved is these hollow wall elements. I'm not much of a big fan on these. But it does give the garage a little extra room. Placing the roof pieces back on are real easy to snap in place. This side here that's missing a few flat tiles. This part goes up against the house. So let's take a tour of the interior of the Simpsons house. Here is the front entry, which leads into the first half of the living room. There is a little stool, which sits in front of the piano. This can be removed. Nice use of the radiator grills for keys. Yes, that piano is purple. There's supposed to be a music sheet, but I decided not to put that on. The panel does go back in nice and easy. Also, there is a bay window, which adds more space. Here's the first part of the kitchen. As you can see, 
plenty of cabinets. We have a holder for a frying pan and a mixer. Two cups. Has some cupboards. And drawers. And I believe that one of these drawers contains silverware. And the kitchen also does have a bay window as well. Really nice. I like the use of the banana yellow and light blue tile for floor. Moving on to the second half of the kitchen, we have a stove and range, a sink, and more drawers behind the table. We have a little mixing bowl. Here's the hood. It is a little bit of a tight fit for the dinette set. It could have been a little smaller, but it does work. Here's the second half of the living room. As you can see, we have a sofa in the background. There's a phone on an end table. And this is a little television. It just removes. It's supposed to have print work, but I decided not to put that on. It's got the rabbit ears for antennas. TV can easily be reinserted back into the jumper plate. If you wanted extra access, This top piece does remove. So let's have a closer look inside the living room. Here's the overhead view of the living room. There is supposed to be a print work for an area rug, but it does look fine the way it is. A nice brown sofa. I like the arms. This tile is supposed to be a picture, but I decided not to put the print work on that as well. We have a little miniature phone with an end table. Sometimes these drawers will fly out for some odd reason. I like the staircase with the pink runner and the light purple possibly for the floor or carpeting and these slopes for the rails those are purple really nice contrast and this door right here leads out into the garage so let's head upstairs and take a look at the bedrooms and bathroom. As you come up the stairs, you're in a nice spacious hallway. There's a door in the back for Bart's room. This one is for Lisa's room. And this one is for Homer and Marge's room. I like the use of these dome elements. They're used to keep the roof in place, but they also look good for lights. Now let's head into Lisa's room. This is the first half. You can see we have our little camera. There's Lisa's vanity. I like the pink top with the light blue drawers. 
the stool and the mirror looks really good I wish that this tile was reflective there's Lisa's homework let's head through the hall and head into Homer and Marge's room as you can see there are two more of those dome elements for lights and we have Maggie's crib this can be removed it is a bit difficult I like the use of the ladders and elements really great idea here's the second half of Homer and Marge's room got the dark blue nightstands with the orange drawer fronts I like the bed these are bull-nosed and two elements on top for pillows that's a really great idea looks like that this has a nice soft comforter we also have a mug and a basket as well nice headboard with the purple and dark blue and light purple it's one bright colorful room here we have a door that does go into the bathroom it is a bit of a tight fit but I'll show you that in a little bit here's the second half of Lisa's bedroom as you can see she has bookshelves, microfine glass, some books. Looks like that might be a box. Nice use of the aqua blue and orange for the nightstands. And the pink comforter. Nice headboard. Use of the bonos corners. For both the comforter and pillow she even left her backpack this is supposed to be a poster possibly for the jazz festival but I choose not to put that on As you may tell, it appears we have a chimney in the house, but alas, the house does not have a fireplace. I don't recall if the Simpsons house ever did have a fireplace, but it looks really well. In between the two bedrooms, we have a three-quarter bath, have a sink with vanity, that flat tile is a mirror, there's some shelves on the corner, here's the toilet, and we have a shower. I like the use of the purple and the wall elements for the shower pan. There is a roll of toilet paper and that is constructed with a door. Really clever design. Here's the door that leads from the bathroom into the hallway that is 
finished off. Looks really good. Here is an overview of the hallway. Every room does have its own door. That adds a nice touch. Gives each room its own privacy. The hallway is finished off with flat tiles. And the banister is purple. I like the pink carpet on the stairs. The runner looks really good. Here is Bart's room. It is pretty spacious. We have a set of bookshelves with various items. Here we have a radio. That tile is printed on. Bart's baseball hat. There is supposed to be a sticker on this tile. However, I didn't put the sticker on. Let's have a look at Bart's desk. We have a chair. This does slide out. Looks like he left a drawer open. We even have a printed tile. There's supposed to be a sticker on this brown tile that looks like a bulletin board, but I did not put that on either. We also have a little red mug here's Bart's bed nice bedside lamp bed has two-tone with the orange and light purple Here's Bart's door. It does flow nice out from the bedroom to the hallway. That is all smoothed off. Let's have a quick look at the print work. Here's the bulletin board for Bart's room. A Crusted Clown and Jazz Fest posters. The picture, an area rug for the living room. The Itchy and Scratchy Show print for the television. Bart's skateboard. Maggie, Grandpa Simpson, Keep Out for Bart's Door. A car radio print two license plates and L. Barto. I might hold on to these for other creations. Finally let's take a look at the spare pieces. Looks like there's a tire, several plates, studs, aerials, nozzles, tiles, too many pieces to count. There's even slopes. That is a lot of spare elements. These pieces may be handy for other Lego creations.
This wraps up the review for The Simpsons House by Lego. Set number 71006 contains 2,523 pieces. Recommended building ages are 12 and up. I must say that this set was fun to put together. Putting together the review was even more joyful. Lots of accessories. Six minifigures, a vehicle, accessories, and of course the Simpsons house, which is fully detailed inside. The interior is very bright and colorful. The furnishings can be moved around. There's not a whole lot wrong with this set. But there is one thing to note is the roof is plated. I'm not a big fan of plated roofs, but this did come out okay. I wish it was finished off a bit more. And the garage floor could have been smooth tiled because the station wagon does run kind of rough on the surface. In addition, there is a brick separator to help with the build. Trust me, you are going to use this brick separator a lot. I know I did. But I enjoyed this set. My apologies for the long review, but there was so much to cover. I really enjoyed this set. I know many of you will too. Thank you for watching. 